how to start an online business in six simple steps. Hi, my name is Nina Colari. I'm an online business coach and I run my businesses completely online. I'm location independent and I've been traveling for nine years already. In this video, I will show you the first steps you need to take when you want to start an online business, things you need to consider and things you need to decide. So let's get started. And the first thing is, of course, be really clear why you want to start your business. Why is a really important question at this time, because creating something new, making some bigger changes in your life can be hard. But when you have really clear why you are doing something, it becomes way easier. So think about why you want to build a business. What is the really the reason behind of this new adventure? Maybe it is a location independent like I live. Maybe it's not. Maybe you just want to have some more freedom and quit your corporate job. No matter what the reason is, just make sure you really know why you are going on this adventure. And the step number two, now that you know why you are doing this business, the next thing you th need to think about for who you're doing this business for. Any business needs clients, so you need to figure out who are those people that have a problem and whose problem you can solve. So where are they, where are they coming from? How old they are? Are they men or women? Or maybe they're both, but you just need to know quite well who are you serving because once you know who you serve it's pretty easy to serve them once you know your ideal customer's problem it is pretty easy to come up with a solution i have many businesses and many websites that all have different purpose they all have different audience they some might link a little bit but they still are quite clearly defined audiences so and it becomes easier to market when I know who is really the end person, who's the person who's going to buy that product. Okay, so now you have, you know your why and you know who you're selling to. The next thing or the third thing is to come up with content. So content that your ideal customer or your customer avatar wants to see. So whatever their problem was in the previous step, this content creation part is where you actually kind of give many solutions to their problems. So you want to capture this audience by providing solutions to their problem. You're not going to give anything and everything. You're just going to a tiny little bit to keep them, get them interested. And then you're going to convert them into email subscribers and so on. But to start with, you need to create content and that content could be a blog. So you could be writing something. It could be a video on a YouTube. LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever your ideal customers hang out, go there and say, hey, I got a solution for you. So it requires a little bit of time to create those. Let's say do five blog posts, videos, something else and post those and then just see what the response is. And I highly recommend also testing it out a little bit with ads. Do not go spend a lot of money. Five bucks is perfectly fine just so you get into the habit of using ads and investing into your company, but also you will learn a lot. Maybe nobody will click on the ad, which means mm, people are not really interested in what you're offering, or maybe you're targeting the wrong audience. No matter what, you will get eyeballs and you will get some feedback that you need to analyze then and to figure out really what is the best solution you can offer to your clients. Number four. So now you have those videos or blog posts, you need to get some eyeballs. I already mentioned Facebook ads earlier. I'm going to give you a couple of other ways you can get some traffic for free. When I mean free, it might, it, yes, you don't pay any money, but it means you need to work at it and make sure you are posting frequently and many places. So what you can do is create on Instagram, for example, if you have a blog post, create three to five little snippets of that blog post and post it on Instagram. Don't forget to use hashtags your audience would be using. My favorite tool is Pinterest because it's just awesome, awesome uh, traffic generator. 
If your audience is women, I highly recommend creating three to five pins, different graphic pins of your blog post and posting them on Pinterest. If you're a Twitter user, do the same thing. Post snippets of your blog post in the Twitter with the link back to your blog post. If you have videos, then of course, when you upload that video onto YouTube, make sure you research some keywords and really think about the title of the video to make sure people actually find it. No matter what you decide to do, the whole point is here to kind of test drive the idea. Is your idea something that people are willing to, or people are interested in? And is it something they eventually would be willing to buy? At this point, you do not need to sell anything. You just want to see if you get some eyeballs and you get some traffic into your website. Number five. Okay, so now that you got the eyeballs and you got the traffic into your website, the next thing is they is to figure out a way that they do not leave without giving you their email address. And you do that with a lead magnet or a content upgrade. And that is something you probably have signed up with many, many of these over time. And it is a way for a website owner to capture your email address and send you, email for, send you further information on the topic you're interested in. It is really important that you have or you capture email addresses from your website from the day one. So even if it may seem a little bit hard, I highly recommend investigating or investing time on how to add email subscri subscription form on your website and then sending emails to these people who signed up. Uh, money is in the list is the really all time saying in the online business and it's really true. Um, no matter how many followers you had on Facebook or Instagram or something else, you do not own those followers. They could disappear in a day. And as we saw in Facebook algorithm changes earlier this year, a lot of people lost all their traffic. And the last one, number six, is of course sell. So it's nice to have email subscribers and YouTube videos and followers. If you do not sell them anything, what's the point? And if you do not sell anything, you just have a really expensive hobby. So you got to start selling. And if you are in the email marketing and you have an email list or you're building your email list, you will then need to figure out how you can sell to that email list or people into that on that email list, or if they're your followers, how you can convert those followers into buyers. What you sell at this point could be an ebook, membership, online courses, your services, consulting, coaching, whatever it is. And you probably in the beginning, you might have some idea what you would like to sell, but you weren't quite sure what it would be. In this case, you can always ask your audience. So if you have even 10 or 100 email subscribers, just ask them, what, would, what are you struggling with and what would be the solution you would buy? That will help you to define what kind of product you can create and you can even pre-sell your product without before even creating it. This actually is the best way to do it because then you know for sure that there is a need for this kind of product and you get the money upfront and then you create that product. Online courses are launched all the time with this way. So there's maybe one video ready when they start selling the course um, and the rest is created after the course has been launched and sold. That is a great way to figure it out if your idea will actually fly or if people are willing to invest money into it. Okay, those were six steps how to start an online business. It didn't cover anything and everything, but that's okay because there's a lot, lot more videos coming up. Do click the subscribe button here on YouTube so you get all the videos about how to run an online business and how to run a location independent business.